It's about time we talk about the Paralens Vaquita. My personal expectations and the first impression that camera made on me. Coming up. Hi and welcome back to the Underwater Filmmaking School and thank you so much for tuning in again. My name is Matthias, I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based here in Zurich, Switzerland. Now, a little while ago, the guys from Paralens reached out to me asking me if I was interested in testing and reviewing the latest underwater camera, the Paralens Vaquita. I said yes, send it over, and that's what they did. A couple days later, I had a parcel in my mailbox containing all the different bits and pieces that belong to the Paralens Vaquita um, ecosystem. Full disclosure, guys, first of all, here at this point, Paralens is not sponsoring this video. So all the opinions that you hear in this video are actually my own opinions. Yes, they did send me the Paralens Vaquita with all the accessories for testing and reviewing, but they will actually not get to see the video before it gets published on my YouTube channel and they will not have a say in what I can say about their product in these review and testing videos. So, now that we've got this out of the way, let's have a look at all the different components that were in all these boxes. Now, if you've been a follower of my channel for a while, you know that I have been using and testing the uh, Paralens Dive Camera Plus, the previous model of Paralens's cameras, quite extensively in the past. So, I'm actually gonna be comparing the Paralens Vaquita to my experiences that I've collected with the Paralens Dive Camera, Camera Plus in the past. Now the most important part of the entire package is obviously the camera itself. I have to say that it makes a very nice and sturdy, well-built um, impression on the first look, sort of very similar to the Dive Camera Plus. I don't think they have degraded in any way here. So this is the Paralens Vaquita, the new one, and here we've got the Paralens um, Dive Camera Plus, the older model. You can see that the Dive Camera Plus is a little smaller, this one is a little bigger, a little heavier, and also in diameter it's a little heavier, a little wider than the predecessor, the old camera there. The material is pretty much the same. Um, what they've changed on the camera itself is quite a few things. So other than the looks, um, it is actually a completely new camera. I've written down a few things that I do wanna cover quickly on a first impression basis. So the one thing that is probably gonna be most noticeable for everyone out there is that the Paralens Vaquita now has a proper OLED um, true color screen at the back of the camera. Now the old Paralens Dive Camera Plus had a screen, but it wasn't the screen that was actually showing you what you were capturing. There was just some information on that screen and it wasn't a very high quality screen. On the new camera, they've integrated a fairly high quality screen on there and it is actually also a viewfinder. So you can see what you're filming. Now, I haven't dived with the Paralens Vaquita yet. This is still to come. So all that I say in this video here is really just a first impression on having it in my hand for the first time. But for me, it has never really been a big issue not having a screen seeing what I record underwater because with the um, Dive Camera Plus, as well as with the Paralens Vaquita now, with its form factor, the way I use this camera is actually hold it in my hand like a flashlight, like a torch, and just point it towards um, the object that I wanna film. And most of the time I have had very good results actually getting the object in the frame that I was trying to film. So I don't know how useful this screen really is going to be for me personally. I mean, it's a nice feature that they've integrated that and that you can actually look at the footage as you're taking it. I will have to see once I get it wet and in the water, how useful and this screen is going to be for me and how often I will actually look at it while recording something underwater. Now, another thing that has changed is the resolution when we talk about the photos. Um, it has gone up a little bit, but what is more important is that now you can actually record raw photos, which is great because it gives you more flexibility when it comes to um, 
post-production or to um, editing your photos later on once you put it on your computer. When we talk about the filming capabilities, these have also improved on the Paralens Vaquita quite a bit actually. The old one was capable, the Dive Camera Plus was capable of recording 4K at 30p, now we can record 4K at 60p. We can also record 4K at 30p in HDR and we can record 1080p um, in 240 frames per second. So we have a nice option to record slow motion video there as well. Another thing that they've changed is the field of view. On the Dive Camera Plus you had 120 degrees field of view which I actually liked quite a bit. Now on the Vaquita now they've narrowed it down to a 90 degree field of view. Um, we'll have to see how that affects the overall image and the quality, the sharpness and everything of the image. Um, I can't really say anything about that before I've tested it in the water. But that's also a change that they've done on this new model. Quite interestingly, they have also changed the maximum um, depth rating for the Vaquita compared to the Dive Camera Plus. On the Dive Camera Plus, the maximum depth rating was 250 meters. Now they've increased it by 100 meters. So you get now a maximum depth rating of 350 meters. And I think, but I don't think that for most of us, this is gonna be a crucial feature in the new Vaquita camera. They have also upgraded the battery that is in the Paralens Vaquita. It's slightly bigger and more powerful than the battery that was uh, placed in the Dive Camera Plus. But at the same time, they have also put a lot more sensors into the Vaquita compared to the Dive Camera Plus. So I'm actually not entirely sure whether or not the run time, the record time underwater is gonna be any longer than what it was on the Dive Camera Plus. So this is something that we just have to test and see during this series of tests that we'll conduct with the Paralens Vaquita in the coming weeks. One improvement that I'm really not entirely sure how I feel about it is the addition of the um, newer H.265 file format. Now the Vaquita will record the 4K 30p HDR files in that newer format. Now the um, H.265 format enables the Vaquita to keep the file sizes smaller by compressing the files a little more. So it actually gives the workload over to the computer or your laptop when you're in post-production. And this means that you're probably gonna need a fairly strong computer or laptop to be able to work with these files. Whether or not this is true, we'll know as soon as I've recorded the first couple of clips in that format and I've put it on my um, Mac Mini M1 and we'll see how it handles um, the H.265 format. I'll also put it on my older MacBook Pro, which is a uh, 2018 model, I think, um, and we'll see how it works on that older Intel chip. And last but not least, they have also come up with a new app for the Vaquita. Now, the app has always been a weak point in my opinion. The app that the Dive Camera Plus used, I was just never really happy with it. I was having issues connecting. Um, there was just a ton of stuff that I wasn't really uh, happy with. So I'm hoping that they've solved most of these issues um, with the new app and I'm really excited and looking forward to trying out that new app and uh, hopefully convincing myself that it's much, much better than what the old app used to be. So, what else was in all these boxes that I've received other than the camera itself? Well, first of all, there was a tiny little box and it had this lens protection cap in it. And I find this is a very good idea. It can just be popped onto the front of your Vaquita and protects the actual lens from any scratches and stuff. I think this is a great idea. Well done, Paralens, on this one. You'll get a little transportation bag. This is the soft bag, nothing really special. And I have to say, I'm a little disappointed with that because in the previous model, the Dive Camera Plus, they were supplying a hard case for transportation um, and security of your camera. I really like that one. Um, unfortunately, there is no hard case included with the Vaquita this time. There is a couple of other accessories. Obviously there is like charging cables, there is a lanyard, there is attachment uh, pieces that you can attach your camera to a um, handle or to other accessories. 
There is spare parts for um, the Vaquita, for the rotation ring. We've got a little quick start guide, a booklet that will take you through uh, the first steps of using the Vaquita. Then there is a um, mask mount uh, thingy, so you can actually mount the Vaquita onto your mask. They had this sort of a similar thing with the um, Paverlands Dive Camera Plus, and I wasn't a big fan of that. I always thought that having a camera on my uh, mask wasn't where I wanted to have the camera. Um, I've used it I think once on the Dive Camera Plus and I wasn't really happy with it. I'm definitely gonna give it a go again with the Vaquita. Maybe this time I like it a little better. And the last piece of equipment that I had in those boxes was the third party uh, viewer, which is uh, the selfie stick here. You've got your floats that you attach to either side of the camera, and then you've got your lanyard that you use to attach the whole thing to your BCD, something that they've already had with the Dive Camera Plus, and I've used it with the Dive Camera Plus. Um, it's interesting, it's something new, um, but it's definitely not something, at least not for me, that I would use on every single dive. Again, I'll definitely try it with the Vaquita and see how it goes with that camera and there will be reviews coming up on all these accessories being tested um, here on the channel in the next couple of weeks. So there you go, that's my first impression of the Paralens Vaquita. Now when we talk about my expectations, I'm actually hoping that the Vaquita will be just as easy when it comes to handling the camera as the Dive Camera Plus has been. I'm hoping that the Vaquita will improve on image quality because I've always found that the image quality of the Dive Camera Plus, the image itself, has always been a little, a little soft and I'm hoping that the Vaquita will improve in that section. I'm also hoping that the DCC, their um, dynamic color correction, will have improved, in particular when changing from bright to dark areas during the same shot. This has been um, a situation where the Dive Camera Plus has been having issues with. Hopefully that's gonna be different and better with the uh, Vaquita. The app is a big thing. I'm actually hoping or I'm expecting the app to be much, much better than the old app that was used with the Paralens uh, Dive Camera Plus. Hopefully all the connectivity works much better and you can just use it um, more intuitively uh, compared to the old app. And that's basically it. Everything else, I'm just gonna let myself be surprised at how good the Paralens Vaquita is. I've heard quite a bit about it already. Um, not all of it has been positive, but it has been out on the market for a good year now. So I'm hoping that all of these little quirks that were there at the beginning when it was released, I'm hoping that they've managed to get rid of all of them and that we can look at a really, uh, really good and finished and complete product when it comes to an underwater um, camera. So if you're curious to find out how I'm getting along with the Paralens Vaquita and you wanna see the test footage and the reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber of this channel so you're not missing out on any of these videos that will be uploaded here in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if this video was useful to you and if you enjoyed it, hit the like button letting me know that this is the case. Thanks again for your time, stay safe, make bubbles and I will see you in the next one.